So welcome back to the Vetted Biz YouTube channel. I'm your host, Patrick Fedoro, and today we're gonna to be going into the world of chicken. So as 2024 rapidly approaches, potential investors and entrepreneurs beginning to identify some potentially lucrative opportunities, trying to get substantial growth, profitability in the future years. Keep in mind, we're talking about 2024 because it takes 12 to 18 months to open up a franchise from the time you sign the franchise agreement in, in the restaurant space, and we're talking about chicken today. So let's go right into the list of the top 10 chicken franchises we're looking at all different types of figures to see what the best chicken franchises are going to be in 2024. And let's start first with one of my personal favorites from a consumer perspective, and that's Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A started back in 1946. It's still family owned. They're billionaires. I believe last week we checked, it was over $20 billion that the family's worth. They have over 2,600 locations in the US, few locations outside, but predominantly in the States. And they have a unique offering where they fund the startup costs. So the startup costs could be 2.5, 3 million, $4 million to open up a Chick-fil-A. As an operator, they ask you to put it $10,000 and you get to split 50% of the profit. Now, they're generally gonna cap that at operating just one or two locations. But I, I interviewed a franchisee available on my LinkedIn that I shared where he started as a cashier in Mississippi. He opened up a franchise in Florida about eight years later, and now he's opened up his second location. So you can go from making, what, $30,000, $40,000 a year to making $400K, $500,000 from a Chick-fil-A. You're not gonna have a big liquidity event as you, you can't benefit in the game when the business is sold back to Chick-fil-A, but it's not a bad business to generate serious cash. Popeye's Louisiana Chicken, second one up, over 3,400 locations. Becoming Popeye's franchisee is gonna cost you though anywhere from 380,000 to 2.6 million. The price does seem steep, but the potential for returns really high and it's a good EBITDA. Estimated profits for the owner is about 200 dollars to $300,000. And if you open up a Popeye's for say a million dollars, and you develop five Popeyes franchises, you could potentially sell all those Popeyes franchises for a significant return on your capital. I'm talking about 2x return or more on your capital. It's gonna depend obviously how you're operating your Popeyes and how many locations you open up. Number three, Wingstop. So Chick-fil-A privately owned by the family, Popeyes owned by Restaurant Brands International. Wingstop was founded in 1994, popular destination for chicken wing enthusiasts with over 1,500 locations worldwide, offers a franchise opportunity with a low franchise fee at $20,000 Estimate an investment anywhere from 400K to 630,000. Wingstop has a ton of franchisees that have started with just a couple locations, and now they're in the teens, 20s, 30s with franchise locations throughout the US. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, up on number four on the list, founded in 1996. They've expanded to over 550 locations worldwide. Initial franchise fee at 45,000. Initial investment amount can go all the way up to 2 million. So it's more expensive than a wing stop. Right now, from what I understand, they're just expanding with corporate locations, but they have franchise in the past. So stay tuned if it becomes a live franchise opportunity, we'll be sure to have that featured on Vetted Biz. Next up is Zaxby's, also founded in the 90s, 1990. They're really well known for their sauces with over 900 locations in 17 states. They offer franchise opportunities starting at 460,000 all the way up to a million dollars. This includes the franchise fee at 35,000 estimated owner profits similar range to Popeye's in the 200 250 300k range. El Pollo Loco was established a little earlier 1975 specialized in flame grilled Mexican style chicken about 500 locations in the US the investments higher though 1.2 million up to 2.6 million dollars to open up El Pollo Loco. Seventh on the list is you have Bojangles established 1977 known for their southern inspired cuisine as well as a friendly atmosphere with over 750 locations across 14 states in the US. There's a bit more of a regional focus than some of the other brands that we talked about today in the chicken space. Investments also higher, 1.7 to $2.7 million. It's a franchise to consider, especially in those markets that they already are, are well recognized. Moving on to the eighth option, Buffalo Wild Wings, found in 1982, over 1,200 locations. Investments is, is the highest on the list, 1.7 million to $3.5 million. But the, the brand's robust reputation and successful business model could make up for the high investment. Now last, we have Church's Chicken, established in 1952. It's grown to become one of the largest quick service chicken restaurants in the world with over 1,500 locations spread across 25 countries. Investment 1.2 to 2.5 million is required. Now, 
We didn't mention some key chicken franchises on the list. You're gonna have to go into Vetted Biz and see why we didn't mention chicken franchises like KFC to compare them with some of the other chicken franchises that we went through today on the best 10 chicken franchises for 2024.